Welcome to part 3 of my AW11 MR2 manual conversion. Last week we finally got that pesky 4AGZ out and today we're reassembling the suspension so that the car can be rolled around, removing the auto transmission and preparing the motor for a life on the engine stand. I don't know why. It doesn't want to reach through this hole. <laughs> Game knows it's going to be a yeah. A little bit. <laughs> gotcha! First task is to reattach the tie rods. Now, a warning in advance is to make sure the hub side is actually mounted up correctly. As you'll see, we ended up trying to force the rod in not realizing that the bushing on the hub side was being crushed. If it feels too difficult to push in, then something's not lining up. That's better, and the alignment's probably not whack. Feels too tight, eh? Mm. Eating spread. I think it is eating First off, I'm removing the thermostat housing that's connected to the gearbox, and as you can see, I may have snapped a tab or two. Next is unbolting and removing the starter motor. This should be relatively easy to slide out once you've removed the two 14mm bolts. <laughs> From there, I began removing the bolts to disconnect the gearbox from the motor. Oh, that is rounding the f Shit, I think I actually rounded that off. Yep. Oops. <laughs> oh, I managed to do it. It's a long bolt, holy shit. You got it. <laughs> I'm not weak, I just, I almost fell. That's it. At this stage, we realized that the stub shaft was getting in the way of removing the gearbox. To remove it, you just need to get a pry bar and try to hammer it out. It took quite a while to pry the unit out, but it did eventually give in. There she goes. One. Gooey boy. It's out. Hey! You need to take a photo of that as well for uh, manual these jerks. It's like unscumifying. Okay, one is loose. Okay. Hey. Not sure if it's the go to way to get these things done, but we had a breaker bar on the crank pulley to hold it in place while I tried to loosen the six bolts holding on the torque converter. How heavy is it? Quite heavy. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I just got oil on me. Yeah, that's what you don't. Okay. Alright, cool. Talk converter off. Now all we need to do is get this. Right, which is just these boys. Yeah. I would recommend you use Sam's Hugger Dugger and just blast them. They are a 14. And lastly, I bolted on the adapter to fit onto the engine stand. So here we are the day after, the floors have been mopped, the floors are dry, and I can show you guys the clean sheds. So just in this corner, we've got the trunk lid for the A-dub along with the rear bumper just sitting there. And then carry on, we've got the MR2. Everything bolted it, the engine is gone. 
so good. Um, I wanted to keep it rolling, so all the suspension components has, have been re-installed uh, to the car. The only exception being, and I'll add the clip in here somewhere, but one of the bolts, it looks like it's been threaded, so I'll have to get a tap and die and see if we can get that to fit. But we come to this beautiful thing. I don't know how I feel about it being so close to one of the bikes, but I mean, it lasted the night. It didn't, it didn't pop off. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to actually cracking into this motor. So the next kind of few episodes I'm going to be doing on this car is mainly going to be focusing on the engine. So there will be one where I will be cleaning the engine bay because I just think that'd be super satisfying to do because it is just dirty. This awesome thing, um, I basically want to redo all of the seals on the motor. It won't be a rebuild, but you know, it's it's a 30 something year old motor that's done 170,000 kilometers. So it definitely deserves some some TLC. I should probably put that back because I don't know what it's for. But yeah, this is mega exciting. I can't wait to actually crack into this. I really wanted to service a supercharger as well, but yeah, it just seems like it's going to be more effort than it's worth to do. So we'll just give it new oil and see if that keeps it. Because it did, it did make some funny noises when the car was driving, but they were very like incremental. So yeah, still figuring out that one. And then we're going to change the exhaust as well in the car once it's done. Um, it's the alternator, so I couldn't actually get this out when it was in the car. So we'll try and get rid of it now. And then these points here are where the AC lines went in. So they've got this little guide and I think that was what's stopping them because I found it quite difficult removing them and I think it was just because of these little like guides or dowels or whatever they are. And like that we are done for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you have any tips or recommendations for future clips. See you guys next time.